Hi guys, I'm here to tackle a serious problem for you guys, which is how do I revise for the exams? Now, traditionally, most of you who've studied before think uh, have their own ways of studying. You probably reread, you highlight, you make notes, you make summary notes. You think those are the best ways to revise something. And I'm here to tell you that all of these techniques, even making notes while looking at the book, these are all almost zero or very low utility solutions. What that means is they do not have much of an impact on your learning. You need to remember that. Now, they look easy to do. They look like we are studying. We have a book open. We are underlining. Look at how many pages I filled out. It feels great. They're great to take off, but they actually have no real benefit to your learning. Now, so you might say, wait a minute, wait a minute. So what does have real value? What does is, is something called active recall. Now you can do active recall one of two ways. But I remember I mentioned earlier, making summaries. Now the real summary that can really work for your benefit is summary from memory. We think that the only time you have to produce something is only when you have to give exams. What we don't realize is that when we actually produce content from a memory, that's when it solidifies it. I'll give you an example of this. When I was a student, as a student, I never really studied for tests. I'll be very, very honest. Ask my mom. I got seven A's in O-levels and three A's in A-levels as proof, not showing off, as proof that I did well. But my way of studying was this. There were three friends of mine, few friends of mine who always thought that they could study from me. So in my time, there was no cell phones. There were all these rotator dial phones. So the day before the test, a friend would call me up, say, hey, can you explain that? So I'd spend time the whole day explaining parts of the chapters to different people. And you might have heard from this from somebody. If you can explain something to somebody, that's a good way of learning. But you know, and you know why that is? Because you are actively recalling from memory what you have learned and then repeating it for somebody else. So teaching somebody, teaching yourself by making notes from memory or solving papers from the knowledge that you have, solving tests, quizzes, all these three things require active recall from your memory. And that is the most value for money or time in revision. So understand this. It's all about memory. You feel like, hey, I don't even remember stuff. So go and read it or listen to your video lectures. Skip ahead, do them fast or really go back and understand the summary of each chapter from multiple books have that or revision notes. But that's remind yourself, that's just me learning. What you should do right after that is close your books and recall what you've studied. A good way to do summary notes is I like making these web or spider web diagrams. These are basically, I'll take a concept and subtopics I'll take out from it. For example, in chemistry, you know, maybe it's halogenoalkanes. I'll make out all the reactions I can do from that. If it's uh, a, a topic in biology, let's say the cell, I can take out all the different organelles of the cell and then their functions for later chapters and also connect, you know, maybe digestion, cell division, respiration, all of that to different parts of the cell. And that's how one should revise. Or if you don't like spider web diagrams, just make notes, but for memory. The trick is for memory. Or do yourself and a friend a favor, teach somebody. Trust me on this one, the best way to study. So when you say, let's do group study, the way to use group study is to teach somebody. So your friend teaches you a chapter, you teach somebody else a chapter. That's how you'll remember something. And active recall. But if this all sounds boring to you, the most easiest thing you can do right now is practice topical questions for each chapter that you revise. People tend to do topical questions as a way to remembering answers of the questions that I've repeated. That's not why you should use topical questions for to solve. Test yourselves using this. Now you could use even memory and flashcards to test yourself. But now that towards the exam time, the best thing you do for yourself is just practice questions. Now you might get the first 10 questions wrong, but then you go back and see what you got wrong, learn that. Then try 10 more questions. The more you try from memory, the more you remember. You might look at the practice as not being fruitful, but by the end of it, you'll have remembered stuff. So if you have a set time, let's say you decide, okay, today for six hours, I'm going to do electricity in physics. You know, that chapter of static electricity. For the first hour or two, I'd say, you know what? Go through some lectures if you want to revise something or look at the summary note. But on their own, they have got no value. But at least they'll jog your memory and put stuff in your short-term memory from revision notes to summary notes. Then right away, open one of those topical past paper books. There are many available. You can find them online also. 
and then start solving those questions for that chapter. The more you test yourself, the better you get at that chapter. And that is a proven technique. It seems painful because you think, why well, am I practicing when I need to learn stuff? But that practicing is the learning that also helps your memory. So these are three techniques I think will work wonders. I know they work wonders, not just from my own life's anecdotal data, but also proven data from multiple studies done in education psychology. And I'll guarantee you, you do this well, you'll be in a better position than what you were maybe a week ago even. All right? So that's my tip. I hope you guys use it. And you know what? Don't tell anybody about it. Keep it to yourself. Bye.